Hi, this is Paula again with ISO Norwich, and I want to talk to you about due diligence. Well, what is due diligence, you might say? Well, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it is the care that a prudent person might be expected to exercise in the examination and evaluation of risk affecting a business transaction. So in other words, it's what it's the buyer doing his homework before he purchases the home, asking the right people the right questions to get the answers to the questions that you might have. So what would be some of the things that would fall under due diligence? Inspections. Um, as I've said in other videos, I've talked about that in prior videos. So if you want more information about inspections, check out some of my prior videos. Schools. Oftentimes in the MLS, uh, where it says elementary or middle school or high school, you might say see that it says BOE, Board of Education. That is the best place to find your answers to your questions about the schools, about which school your child might attend, um, if they have after, after school activities, uh, what kind of music program or art program or sports, uh, or if your child has special needs. They are the best source for that information. They can direct you where to go on the website or maybe mail you information if they have that, but that's your best place. Uh, zoning. If you're looking to buy a house and um, run a business out of your home, uh, I don't know, let's say you bake cupcakes, zoning would be your best place to find the answers to that. Your agent can lead you in a certain direction, um, you know, online, like to the town hall, and it might have some zoning things there. But to get the exact answers to your question, it is best to contact your local zoning board and ask them your specific questions about the specific business that you might want to run out of your home. Neighborhoods. Now, I've been asked numerous times uh, about neighborhoods. What kind of neighborhood is it? You know, is it quiet? Is it safe? Um, you know, in some case, I've had a couple of people with rentals say, you know, uh, what kind of people live in the building? First, let me say, for me to answer those questions, uh, it would be in violation of fair housing laws, okay? But the best way to find the answers to those questions, there's two. One way is if you have the time and you're looking to purchase a home on a certain street or in a certain area of town. If you have the time, drive down that street, like in the morning or in the afternoon, maybe on the weekend. And that would give you uh, a little gauge of like, you know, if it's a busy street, a lot of traffic, if it's a noisy street, you know, if you see children on their bikes or playing ball, that might give you some way to gauge what type of neighborhood it is. But the very best way to answer that question, in my opinion, is to call the police department. Call your local the police department and tell them that you're new to the area. You're thinking of either renting or purchasing a home on such a street or in, or in such an area of town and ask them, say, can you tell me anything about that, that section of town? Do you answer a lot of calls in that area? And if you do, what kind of calls are they? And they should be able to answer that question for you because it's a matter of public record. Um, and then finally, utilities. If you're moving to a different town and, uh, you know, usually we all can just transfer our cable. If you have like Comcast or something like that, you can just tra uh, transfer it with you. But, um, you know, I would call the utility company if I'm moving to a new town and you can ask them, say, can you give me an idea what the average cost uh, for utilities, say, for a three bedroom uh house would be or a three bedroom apartment might be and they might be able to give you that information because the more information you have the more informed decisions you can make so i hope this has been useful for you and as always if you have questions or comments please list them below in the comment section and like share and subscribe see you soon